Okay, hello everybody. It is uh, Graceful Gaming TV here uh, with my first commentary over a War Thunder gameplay. Um, so today I took out. Well, I recently pur purchased the Fokker Wolf 190 D13. Um, I bought it off the Steam like uh, Dora pack. Uh, where you get some premium and golden eagles. Um, I don't really need the research points from the like the premium aircraft extra bonus research points, but um, I did like the aircraft itself. Now I'm going to talk about um, the D13 versus like not versus, but like compared to the other Doras. Um, the other Doras are very similar in flight model are basically the same flight model and everything and like speed and climb or whatever but I'm basically just going to talk about the armament because that's what's different between all the doors really or mainly besides a little bit of like speed well so it says on the stack card I'm not sure if that is totally accurate if it is accurate uh, I believe this is the slowest one by like maybe like 17 kph something like that but um they all climb very well turn pretty slow uh, but are very good at high speeds and dives um, but I want to talk about the armament now the the D9's armament is pretty uh, weedy uh, the 13 millimeter machine guns they're okay but I find that the accuracy on them is not the greatest and then it has two 20 millimeter machine guns which are uh, pretty good there's only two of them now the D3 the D12 has two 20 millimeter machine guns and a 30 millimeter machine gun, which is pretty good if you get a uh, a decent burst in to any aircraft in the game. You pretty much will uh, one shot them with a good burst. But um, now the D13 has three 20 millimeter machine guns, and I do like this a lot because. Um, since they're all the same caliber of machine gun, uh, you basically get the same ballistic, or the same velocities on the sa all the guns, so uh, you don't have to really aim differently. Like, your bullets will all have the same trajectories, whereas the 20 millimeter machine guns and the 30 millimeter machine guns will have two different uh, trajectories, and it's kind of harder to aim like that. Um, now, they're both very capable aircraft. Um, and this is a very small difference, and it's not why I bought the aircraft. I bought the aircraft because I really, really, really like the the Doras, and yeah, I really wanted to fly this one. Um, so now I want to talk about a little bit about balance issues in uh, War Thunder from my perspective. I know a lot of people and experienced pilots have different a different perspective from what I have, um, but I'm kind of frustrated. Not that frustrated but it kind of annoys me um, generally when I'm flying the A series of Spitfires um, or not Spitfire <laughs> the A series of uh, FW-190s uh, versing Spitfires or Space Fires as some of you might know because they have a really ridiculous climb and right here I see a B-17 so I'm kind of going to dive and try to head on them because B-17s are really weak from the front um, yeah, it's really hard to kill B-17s though, and if you get hit once, you're probably gonna die, which you'll see happens to me. But I don't, I don't die. It just kills my engine. <laughs> but um, so I really don't like the fact that Spitfires can climb so damn well, and that the Fokker Wolf's climb rate is mediocre, like really, really handicapped compared to the the Spitfires. It just gives such an advantage to people who climb in the Spitfires because you're going to be 500 to 1000 meters above any FW-190 and that's that's the main FW-190's advantage is uh, having an altitude advantage and it can't even get that. But um, a lot of people don't think that's that big of an issue. Uh, I think it is because also, actually I don't, I don't think like the climb rate of the Spitfires are OP. I just think that their, their battle rating is a little low for how good of a plane they are. Like, if you look at the F, the early FW-190s for the Germans, I feel like 
their battle rating is a little bit overdone. Like the first FW uh, 190A1 has a 3.3 battle rating, and I believe that should be either 3.0 or 2.7. Um, I feel that the first Spitfire and the first FW190 are pretty, pretty close, pretty comparable. If not, the, you could say the FW190, the first one, is better than the Spitfire. And it should be ranked higher than the first Spitfire, but I don't think it should be ranked a whole, like, 1.0 higher than the first Spitfire. Because they fought in World War II, and they were, it was pretty comparable, uh, the two aircraft, and it really depended on the, the pilot. So... I think that the German FW-190s are definitely uh, over-tiered. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the gameplay and also props versus jets. Ooh, uh, I used to think that props versus jets was the worst thing ever. <laughs> and then I started being able to kill jets and props. Um, I don't know why, I think it's just because I got a little bit better. But in this game I killed two MiG-9s spoiler but um i didn't think i could do it but they just one of them head on me right here as you're gonna see um don't head on an fw easy kill right there and then another one i i got a really good shot into the wing and it clipped it um now facing a lot of jets in a prop it will really improve your uh, flying skill actually this is what i think because Basically, you, you're going against a plane that is probably 100 to 200 kph faster than you, like just flying in a straight line. So you have to know how to um, make, not necessarily make people overshoot, but they're going to have a higher energy advantage than you. So you have to learn how to deal with people with a lot more energy than you. And I think that's a really important skill to have, especially if you do fly FW-190s like the A series because you're going to be going against Spitfires that are going to outclimb you. Um, so I think that's really important. Now here I'm trying to land because I got shot by the B-17 uh, which kind of crippled my engine. It's not crippled but I will have to land eventually uh, because it's pink and uh, these MiG-9s are trying to strafe our runway so I'm just trying to... I was going to try to land but obviously they're strafing so I had to defend the teammate on the runway and um, at the same time, not die, so I was like basically looking for an opportunity to land, but the MiG-9s kept circling back, and I was really hesitant to uh, land. I think right here I try to go to slow my speed to land, but then I think the MiG-9 pops up somewhere. Um, oh yeah, 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 there's a MiG-9 over there, but I'm not sure if that's the one I kill, but yeah. So, it was kind of annoying that these guys were strafing the runway, but it's respectable because people want kills, m myself included, and even though it's pretty immoral to strafe the runway, it doesn't mean you don't get XP, you know, like, whatever pays the bills. Um, <laughs> so, you just kept to deal with it, I guess. But, so I thought, previously I thought, like, since jets are a lot better than props, obviously, <laughs> since they go a lot faster. I thought it was really unfair that uh, whenever I was in a prop that I had to face. Ooh, here's the, here's the six shot. He starts turning in, which is not necessarily a mistake for him, but I hit that six shot right. Oh, my God. Get wrecked. <laughs> you vulture. But that was, a, that was a pretty crazy shot. And then I went to land here, but the game is over. But, um... Yeah, I was talking about jets versus props, and you just really have to know your advantages in a prop to adequately combat jets, but once you learn it, you, you learn to live with the jets, not necessarily, like, dominate them, but did I kill that guy? No, I didn't, never mind. I think we, their ground forces um, win this game, but you, yeah, you basically learn to live with them, not necessarily like dominate them, you know, if you if you get into a jet game as a prop, you know, you're probably gonna have to like take what you get, you know, you can't really like dominate the game, you can't set the, the tempo or whatever, you're just gonna have to roll with the punches, and I think it's pretty important to learn, especially for like, if you're in lower tiers even, or mid tiers, um, if you get a horrible matchmaking, you know, if you know how to adequately combat 
uh, over tiered planes, then you're just going to be a lot better of a pilot. Um, thank you guys for watching this gameplay. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, like it. Leave a comment, rate, subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, and if I did anything wrong, like if you didn't like something in my video, uh, just leave it in the comment section, please, so I can improve. Um, but thank you for watching.